Hi, I'm Alex Rubush. We're here this morning. We're going to do a quick video on how to do a Devastator install. Uh, this morning we're going to do it on a 4412 Case International head. Uh, this particular head is a folding head, um, but the folding and the rigid take the same 5032 kit. So first off, we've laid all of our parts out, um, kind of make an inventory of what parts we've got. We laid them out underneath the head where they need to be. Um, this makes it pretty quick as you're starting to move across the head and install stuff. You can just grab parts and throw them up there real quick. Uh, it speeds up the process a little bit. Anytime we're going to be working underneath the corn head, we need to start by making sure the uh, cylinder lock is in place, uh, just for safety reasons. Um, <clears throat> after we were uh, have assured that. Uh, the first thing will be finding out uh, which location the main mount bracket here uh, goes in. So on this particular head, um, our first two for our first barrel are going to go in between rows one and two and two and three. We're going to mount them in between the rows right up to the frame. Um, so just find your hardware bag for the mount hardware and this bracket. We'll go ahead and get these put on the head. So now that we've got these mount brackets hung, we normally don't tighten these until the end, uh, just in case we want to wobble them back and forth or something. Uh, the next step is to open up our bag, bolt bag, with all the spring hardware. Um, the first thing you'll need is the bushing. We're going to tuck it into uh, this arm right here. And then you'll take your arm and mount it with the 5 8 bolt. And that next we'll take the uh, long eyelet bolt and put it through the hole and then take the half inch shoulder bolt and two 5 8 washers and these washers will go on either side of that eyelet and this bolt will capture it. And then it is captured with a half inch jam nut. And this nut, you do not want it tight. You should have it snug, but it should still be loose enough that you can spin the bolt in that cavity. The next step is to hang the square tube that holds the barrel. Um, there will be a bolt bag with two half inch bolts and a spacer. So we'll put that square tube up into the arm. The spacer goes in between the two steel plates on that arm and the bolts will hold it. So the next step will be to install the barrel. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take this shim washer and it will go over the square shaft on the barrel. It goes in between the barrel and the bearing. Um, the next thing is the bearing. And with these bearings, you always want to make sure one side protrudes and the other side is recessed. The protruding side goes away from the bearing plate. So on this application, it goes towards the barrel. So now that we're all finished up uh, hanging parts and basically finished with the install, uh, the last thing we want to do is just go through um, and check all your nuts, bolts, make sure you have everything tight. Uh, just give it a general once over to make sure everything's installed correctly. The next thing after that that we always recommend guys do, it's the number one uh, phone call we get and the number one answer we have to give. Uh, for any problems if it's dragging up or something is setting your deck plate angle. To do that uh, we'll basically let our head down to operating height and then set the uh, meter that is that is uh, standard in all Devastator kits now. We'll set that on the deck plate and you want that 
at operating height you want that deck plate to be at about a 23 to 24 degree angle so check that like I say if you ever have any plugging issues or, or issues with it uh, not flowing or feeding correctly uh, check that and that will solve a lot of issues as always if you have any questions uh, give us a phone call we'll put the phone number and our emails um, in the screen below here for any questions.